Dog MD, Dr. Harry, greetings. So here's the thing, we're trying to teach people here on YouTube, uh, this is an educational show, but what does it take to be a physician? Because you can't just be anybody. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, you need to be something special. Smart doesn't even begin to describe Not the tip the, of the uh, iceberg, the uh, level of uh, intelligence that that I have. Remember, I have photographic memory, okay? I, I have a instant Polaroid of any second. You can, in fact, ask me. Ask me what I was doing in 1987 at two o'clock on June 16th. I'm gonna ask you. Taking a dump. Anyway, move on. I think half our viewers on YouTube will be wondering what the hell a Polaroid is. It was the old school, man. Were you were you in Gate? <laughs> oh, what kind of question is that? I started Gate. <laughs> <laughs> What's Gate? Gifted and talented. Oh yeah, education. Gifted and uh, talented. I don't remember. I didn't know. You know, I didn't participate in. Uh, you know, I I did a report on William Shakespeare called Willpower. It was the beginning of a career in creativity that has basically brought me to today, where I have tens of hits on YouTube. <laughs> For me, it was dance. Dance. Mm -hmm. How so? I had the gift of motion. I mean, I could translate complex theorems into movement and teachers all said I've never seen a boy move like that and they emphasized the word boy which I thought was interesting I got it prepare your crew ask me what I was doing March 23rd 1982 at 3.15 p.m. I was studying optics. What were you doing? I was studying optics. <laughs> <laughs> oh! They just don't... It's, it's hard. It's a curse and a blessing being a genius. You know that? When I saw Back to the Future, and he said, Marty, we need 1.21 gigawatts to get the DeLorean back to the future. I mean, what, what was your first thought? Lightning. Lightning! Hello? I mean... <laughs> so, yeah, I was a little brainiac, man. One time I answered some question in class and one of the kids next to me goes, Oh, where did you learn that? At the Institute? <laughs> Favorite medical movie of all time? Gross Anatomy. Oh, never saw it. Favorite medical drama? St. Elsewhere, of course. Oh. I never saw that. Actually. Never never saw that either. Did you watch MASH? Yes, but not on purpose. I did watch ER when I was in medical school, and I remember thinking, I'm going to do anything but work in the ER, because that just looks like a little depressing to me, Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. That wasn't good. It did not fit in with my image of what being a doctor was, which was jewels. Yeah. Bags of bullion. Gold doubloons. And uh, golf. Love. 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 Love was in your image. Mmm. Love. Um, of doubloons? June 17th, 1982, what were you doing? I was doing math problems on the toilet. Oh my god, so was I. <laughs> number one or number two? So I was calculating pi to the 27th digit while doing number two, because it takes that long because you have to... I have photographic memory. I'm not particularly smart. I can never calculate pi, but I knew what the digits were because it was imprinted in my mind. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, the problem with me is I don't have the memory, and I'm also not that smart, but I can cheat very well. I had a guy write me a letter of rec saying I work with pygmy tribes in Africa that got me into medical school, so there was that. So that's one thing you could have is a sense of general larceny that can usually help get you into medical school and beyond. Larceny? Larceny. I don't know what that means, but I heard it on MASH once. <laughs> Dog MD. <laughs>